Can you be a mathematician and an actor? Yeah. I think you can. I know you can. Oh, can you show all the people in the kingdom how excited you are? Oh, excellent. I am definitely going to sort you right over here. That is one excited person. <laughs> How many sleepy animals do I have? One. How many excited animals do I have? Three. How do you know? How did you find out? Because you counted. You counted. I have three and I want to In real life, you are counting and you are doing math and you're using technology for a reason to, to accomplish something. So why are we counting to 10 again? Because Farmer Brown needs us to count eggs. Why are we counting to 10 this time? Because Lizard needs enough invitations to invite people to their birthday party. And so what Melissa's been teaching us um, this year is how to use our bodies and um, move like an actor would as if you were in that real character. So the kids have gotten to be some fantastic animal characters and they get really into the sounds and the movements. Six, seven, eight. Eight, so four cats and four ducks makes eight animals, okay. So today we retold the story, Click Clack Surprise. Um, different groups of students were able to be different kinds of animals. And then we kind of integrated math in composing numbers and breaking numbers apart. So in kindergarten, that's what addition and subtraction looks like. So when I said I had, you know, four pigs on the carpet and then four more ducks came, how many do I have all together? They were adding. Pigs were rolling in the mud. Every art form interacts differently with STEM and science, technology, math. For drama, really it's about making those real world connections and getting it into their body. Whoa, you need some water? Uh-oh, okay, so I got a water, um, I got a water. We have a lot of kids that English is their second language. Some of them are brand new to the country even, but through the arts, they can, um, they can watch the other kids or watch me and they can participate just in the exact same way as the other kids. When we did, you know, our seed to plant dance, they remember what, you know, where we plant a seed, what a seed needs to grow, um, and that's all done through movement. It's important having that shared experience, being able to really bring out um, individual strengths to recognize that in the classroom and to also do something that maybe isn't your strength, isn't your favorite, and to have that experience in a really integrated way. When I'm doing lessons like this that we did with our Wolf Trap teaching artists, um, they're all engaged, they're excited, they're laughing, they're smiling, uh, you know, they want to keep going, they want to do more. They're remembering parts about a story, they're remembering characters, they're remembering even just simple routines and procedures even. Um, and so when you're incorporating all that movement in those different ways into their learning, it's a powerful memory tool.